Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here on European Confessions. The following story that you're going to be listening to, it comes from a translation of a message that one of our admin received. The translation, it reads like this. I don't even know how I got to this point. If you had told me about a year ago that I'll be sitting here drowning in huge dirt, my marriage hanging by a thread, having all of these secrets, I would have laughed at someone who is a church-going person I would never have imagined. But lastfulness, it is a sin, a sin that can destroy everything that you might have struggled building all your life. Then in a second, once you last after which does not belong to you, it can even damage you. But here I am trying to make sense of my own mess, scammed, wondering how I threw away everything. I have a good life, or at least I had one. My husband, name Hidden, is a successful businessman. He is well known, especially respected in church. He gave me everything that a woman could ever want. Why did I end up cheating on, on him? I don't even understand. We had everything beautiful clothes, a home in Santon, and we would go to different vacations. It was more than that I could have ever dreamt of as a young girl growing up in Soweto. I was living a life that I never thought was ever going to be possible. I always praised God for the life that he had given unto me, and yet I was not happy. My husband, he was always busy, always traveling. You know, when you are married to a man who thinks about money more than family, spending more time with his work more than me, I used to sit in this big, beautiful house, feeling like a trophy on display, only to be taken out on functions as if to shine when it suited him. I tried to fill the emptiness with things, shopping, spa days, anything to distract myself. But no matter how much I had, the, lonely, the loneliness only grew much more stronger. I told myself that I was ungrateful, that I was supposed to be satisfied. You should be sacrificed. I used to tell myself whenever I would think about going out there to enjoy my life. But there was this other part of me this craving to feel valued for who I was, not for the image that I fit into. That was when I met David. I was at a charity event. This charity event, I did not even want to go there. But there was one friend of mine who forced me to go there. So we ended up going to Cape Town. It was one of those elite gatherings. And my husband even said, go there and represent the clan because he could not make it with me there so i went with my friend i was already feeling out of place and one thing as to why i was avoiding it was because my friend is that type of a woman who likes to mix and mingle a lot with a lot of men and you hope what you know what i am trying to say so even though we were best of friends since university our university years but i did not like her that much that was when i met this guy the white man that i started dating it was different from everyone else they he had his charm he looked at me came to me and he introduced himself to me when he approached me when we started talking he made me laugh complimented me told me things that i had not heard in a very long time this is what men do when they marry you, they forget to tell you that you are very beautiful. And the moment that another man tells you that you are so beautiful, it turns a woman on. That is what this man was doing to me. For my husband did not care about my status. He only cared about how much money he could give to me. This man, he was unlike my husband. He was interested in me. I felt like myself not just another rich man's wife it was so intoxicating i knew that i was supposed to keep my distance but this was a thrill that i could not resist i thought that it was just going to be harmless something to add a little bit of excitement into my life but soon i started seeing david more often he would invite me out for lunch then to dinners and I would go telling myself that it was nothing for my husband did not need to know 
This man, he was generous, but he was not like my husband. He did not shower me with all of those gifts. He expected me to keep up with him to match his lifestyle. And I wanted to prove that I could. And I did not want to take some money from the accounts that my husband knew about. I did not want to be just another woman whom he could charm and leave behind. I wanted to be someone who could spoil a man so that he can admire me even more. Someone who could keep up with him. That was when I started spending money on him. At first it was just little things, new outfits, expensive perfumes, accessories, but it escalated really quickly. I wanted to show him that I could live that life. I would swipe my card without even thinking, telling myself that I would pay it off later. We would go on weekend getaways to different wine lands, luxurious dinners at places that were very expensive. I would pull out my card so as to express him and I felt like I was in control. Little did I know that this white man, he was nothing but a gold digger who had so much experience for he had done this several times. The debt started piling up without me even realizing it. I thought that I still had time that I'll just cut back eventually and things were going to be fine. But each and every time that I saw him, each time when I'll be with him, the thrill of being someone to him, I could not stop. I ignored the notifications, the reminders, the small signs that this was spiraling out of control. I even started hiding the bills from the credit card from my husband, telling myself that he did not need to know as such. Then one weekend, the man suggested that we needed to have a getaway to a place that was nice. He promised that it was going to be the two of us, a chance to escape, to live free. I felt like I was living in a different world, a fantasy, until I looked at my account balance when we checked out. The number that was staring at me was beyond anything that I had ever seen before. I was over 200k in debt and at that time when i saw that this was how much i am owing my bank it hit me like a rock when we got back the man became so distant he started making excuses as to why he could not see me i tried to confront him to understand what had changed but he really forgot about me as for now he is dating another woman who is also another man another woman's wife and the man is very rich as rich as my husband is so right now when i think about this i really do not know what am i supposed to do for the debt collectors have been calling me and i am too ashamed to ask my family for help my friends they have distanced themselves they think that i'm just another woman who got up in all of this mess but they have not yet told my husband for i asked my family not to reveal this to my husband yeah dear listeners right there was a message that was sent to me by one of our admin who helped us with this translation strange things indeed they too happen in this world